What's going on everyone? Welcome to Box Attack. I'm Dom and today I'm showing you my Flash Museum. I have every single Flash Pop that was ever made and I'm very excited to show you my entire collection. So let's get started. Alright, so first up we are talking about the Flash TV series collection of pops and I'm not going to open up all these or anything like that because it would just take way too long um, to get you guys all open box shots of everything but I do want to go over a lot of them and so we have kind of the first wave and the second wave of Flash TV show pops and we're going to start out with the OG right here. This is the Flash from the TV series, and you can see the rest of the collection on the back, well, part of it anyway. There's nothing too special about this guy, and a lot of the ones in the uh, in the TV show series, there's a lot of commons there, including this guy right here, the Reverse Flash, um, Eobard Thong. I do like the whole um, yellow to black gradient that they put to kind of match the TV show one from this, and I have a lot of these um, regular Flash Pops out of box on my shelf back here, but, the next one we have here is Zoom, and it's kind of hard to see him with all the light, but he is all black as well. And I do have him out of box also. All right, so we do have the regular Flash over on this side, but it's time to get into a little bit of a grail for the Flash TV show series pops. And this is the Flash Unmasked. So this is a 2015 summer convention exclusive from San Diego Comic-Con and as you can see It's Barry Allen in his flash suit without the mask on top as it says here unmasked obviously But this one is definitely somewhat of a grail for a lot of people that are into the flash and Funko Pops and stuff like that And simply because it's not very easy to find anymore at least one that's in like mint condition or pretty good condition It's it's definitely Definitely one of those up there that is a must-have for this the completion of this series. All right, so next we have Captain Cold, and this one is actually joined with the Captain Cold Unmasked, which was an Entertainment Earth exclusive. So I have both of them right here, and I actually had this guy easily accessible so that you can kind of get a look to see what that actually looks like. It's a pretty cool pop though. He's got his little hood on here and his sunglasses, but like I said, the unmasked version here is pretty awesome as well. And this is part of the initial first wave as well as this one right here, which is the uh, Legion of Collectors from DC Comics, Jay Garrick. And you can see here that He's, he's pretty cool. This is Jay Garrick. There's also a new Jay Garrick pop in the new wave, which we'll look at in a second, but I do like this one. Right here, we have Jay Garrick as well. So they did him again, as you can see. Um, he does look a little bit different from the first version. Uh, not that big of a deal though, but this one is pretty new. He actually just came out not too long ago. And the same can be said about um, this flash pop and vibe. So we have this flash pop, which is a bit of a different uh, costume. They kind of reflected the costume changes from the series. And then of course we have vibe because we never had a Cisco Ramon pop or a vibe pop. So we get this one right here as well, which I think is pretty nice. Uh, again, both of these are common, so they're pretty easy to find, but we do also have another common here, which is Kid Flash. And I'm really happy that they did this. I'd love to see them do an Iris pop for the TV show. Um, they just don't do enough female characters in my opinion. Now that we have Nora, they better do a Nora pop with like that purple lightning trailing because that's what's so cool about uh, this Flash pop right here is we have lightning trailing off the back side of his feet and stuff. And then, we have a box lunch exclusive right here. So this is the metallic version of the Flash Pop that I just showed you. And I actually like the metallic version better because the suit's just a little more maroon, a little darker. This was a pop and tea combo. They have it at box lunch. It's still available, so you can order it if you want. But this is like kind of the basis of the TV show pops. But Remember how I was mentioning female characters? We do have Killer Frost here as well. And this was a New York Comic Con exclusive. It's also a glow in the dark pop, which is pretty cool. I love that we have a Killer Frost pop personally. This just came out just this last uh, New York Comic Con. So it's still pretty new. Um, and it was a shared exclusive with, uh, I believe Hot Topic, I wanna say, but um, you can find them out in the wild there if you look hard enough. Now, one other thing that I love 
is the 2016 Summer Convention exclusive Gorilla Grodd. And this is a big six inch pop, as you can see. Gorilla Grodd though, pretty cool character. You can see him on the back there. He's kind of got this evilish grin on his face. And this one is not that easy to find either, at least in good condition, because these six inch pop boxes just don't, I don't know, they, they dent really easily in my opinion. Um, but that, that's not a big deal. Anyway, I'm just happy to have all of this and so basically everything that you see right here including the uh this little flash pocket pop that i have kind of completes my entire uh flash tv show collection so i'm pretty happy about that but let's move on to some of the other ones all right so next up we are moving along to the flash from the movies this is the justice league line and we have the flash right here and of course you know there aren't a lot of these popped yet but we have a substantial amount that have been made uh pretty recently within the last couple of years or so and so this one is the flash but we do also have a brother to him which is the summer convention exclusive now these two molds are exactly the same with the exception of the fact that one of them has vanishing pants i guess if you want to call it that so we have he's it actually means that he's like phasing or running or whatever like that uh, but we have a nice glittery bottom here which i think is pretty cool how it just fades into like a you know a clear well at least the whole bottom does but it goes from like a reddish and then fades to a clear it's got some glitter in it but these two are exactly the same these are both from the justice league line and i'm sure when the flash movie comes out eventually whenever that happens we will see more flash pops the next one we have in this series which actually has the same action pose as the last one is the flash unmasked and this one wasn't exclusive to regal cinemas when the justice league movie launched if you bought a certain amount of tickets or whatever you would get one of these for free so it's not as common anymore which i think is kind of cool and you know what i'm just i have to have all things flash so we have this one right here now another flash unmasked that follows suit in this whole uh, Justice League line. And it's kind of a grail for some people, and that is going to be this guy right here. This is Conan as The Flash. Now, this one is special because it was launched, I believe, uh, during Comic-Con, I wanna say 2017, and the only way that you could get your hands on this specific version of The Flash Pop, or well, Conan as The Flash, is if you attended the Conan show during Comic-Con week on the day that they were giving these out. And so they didn't ever launch them at retail or anything like that. That was how you got your hands on this one right here. Now moving along here up front, uh, we are gonna go ahead and start out with these two guys. We have the Flash from Fugitive Toys. These are exclusives and we have this blue chrome and this kind of dark gray chrome i guess now both of these like i said they're fugitive toys exclusives and they go very well with these guys right here which are the silver red and gold flash chrome pops which uh, were a summer convention exclusive for 2018 and then we have this new york comic-con exclusive which is the flash and Superman from the Justice League, I believe this was part of, uh, if I'm remembering correctly, this was part of the post credit scene where The Flash and Superman are racing. And I have this one out of box, and you can see right here that uh, he's got some like kind of cloud and like blue lightning wrapping around him like he's running because, well, he's racing Superman who is actually flying in this specific scene that they've set up inside of the box and it's a throwback to the comic so i thought this one was pretty awesome all right so now we're treading into more of the random and comic based flash pops and as you can see here we have the black lantern reverse flash this was a hot topic exclusive this came out in i think this was made in about 2014 and it's not really a grail or anything but it is a pretty cool pop and then we do also have this guy right here which is the flash glow in the dark entertainment earth exclusive again part of that dc superheroes lineup but I don't know if they have it for sale anymore or not. I'm not really sure. Uh, the next one on this side here is the Flash, the PX Previews exclusive. Now this is from the New 52 design of the Flash here. And you have the PX Previews exclusive sticker on there. It says the Flash, the DC Universe logo up here at the top. And then on the back side we do have the Green Lantern and Aquaman on there. And this one was uh, 2016, I believe, is when this guy came out. But 
I think it's pretty cool and you know, it's just a must have if you're if you're into the flash stuff. Now a random one that I have that is definitely random and um, you know, television based obviously. This is from Teen Titans Go and this is Starfire as the Flash. It was a Toys R Us exclusive and rest in peace Toys R Us, so you know, you're not gonna be able to just walk into a Toys R Us and buy this one anymore, unfortunately, at least here in the US anyway. Final addition to the random Flash Pops is going to be this guy. This is Domo the Flash, and I absolutely love this. I have a metallic Domo Batman as well, and this one is just pretty cool all around just because it's so different. I do also have a Domo out of box here, so you can just get a quick look at how and different this one looks compared to like any other pop that's out there. So moving into a couple other random flash pops. Well, this guy right here is the new 52 reverse flash. This was a Fugitive Toys exclusive and I really like the design of his suit here. It just looks pretty awesome. And another Fugitive Toys exclusive that came out was the Black Flash. Now the Black Flash has a pretty cool looking face in my opinion. And of course it's just part of this whole DC Universe collection, but I personally like this one a lot. And neither of these are like super grails or anything like that. They're pretty easy to get a hold of. But one that did just launch that I am a huge fan of is this new Jim Lee Flash Deluxe Pop that was a GameStop exclusive. And I actually have him out of box right here as well. Now this one is something else because it just looks, look at the lightning coming off the back of him and this poof of smoke in the back. And then we have like, the, the kind of red translucent right here at the bottom. It's just a really well-designed pop and you can move his head and even those lightning trails kind of stay with it, but it's just a really cool pop all around and it's a GameStop exclusive and I think you can still find them in stores. So if you like this one, I definitely recommend picking it up. All right, so moving along to the finish line here, we do have some other pops that I'm gonna show you and we're getting into grail territory for some of these right here. So first up, we have the White Lantern flash and these are pretty awesome now both of these were fugitive toys exclusives obviously you can see one of them is glow in the dark and one of them is the standard version of that exclusive i personally like the glow in the dark obviously this one is pretty cool because his glow just looks awesome and you know the white lantern i mean how can you go wrong with either of those but fugitive toys was on like a roll with these lantern based pops here and we do have the ones that are over to the right of me as well, which are the Blue Lantern, the Flash Pop. So Fugitive Toys exclusive on this one. Now this is the, I guess, common one out of their exclusives. And they did also release a metallic version as well, which you can see right here. But we have not one metallic version, but two. And as you can see, the colors are slightly different. And there's actually a reason behind this. So if we look at the bottom here, you can see that the manufacture date was from 2015 versus 2014 on this side. And we have the two different color variations because of that. So what happened is they had a separate production run of this blue metallic flash that was a year apart. And in that year, we had a color variation in the metallic paint. And then we're going to get into some of my favorite ones down here. Now, first off, we have the standard, um, the flash pop right here. This is a common, you can find this anywhere, part of the DC superheroes lineup, but that version does have a chase as well. And this is the metallic chase version of that, which I am super happy. I actually have two of him. The metallic on him just looks pretty awesome all around. You know, I was saying we had that common flash. We did have a Hot Topic exclusive black and white version. So he's pretty much identical to the common except black and white. And of course, if you see there, we are missing the belt on the black and white one. I'm not sure why they decided to omit that. So. That kind of wraps up this whole section, but we do have Grail City coming up. All right, so this one is the reverse flash. Now this is not a grail or anything by itself. This was actually a re-release of a pop. That's somewhat a grail in a sense, but you can see here, it's just the DC universe. We have reverse flash on there and it's, it's pretty plain. I mean, this was a common, I believe it's vaulted at this point, but this was a re-release of another pop that came out at Dallas Comic-Con by a company called Toy Matrix. And right here we have the reverse flash. Now, 
comparing these two side by side, really, there is there is like almost no difference. We do have some variations in the box with that little age appropriate noting there and some warnings down here on the other side. But other than that, they're pretty much exactly the same. And I guess that's the differentiator there is the box is different and one of them has a Dallas Comic-Con sticker on it. Now I think this one was a, like a limited release of maybe uh, two or 3,000, I can't exactly remember because they didn't number them or anything like that, which is kind of weird, whatever. But the Dallas Comic-Con version of this is pretty cool, but the more exclusive and rare grail out of this set is this guy right here. So this is essentially the same pop and everything, but this one is glow in the dark and it was limited to 500 pieces. So we have the glow in the dark reverse flash. He's pretty awesome. As you can tell, there's not much of a difference between the two. I mean, the color of the yellow is a little bit different on the glow in the dark one versus the regular release. But yeah, this was limited edition of 500 pieces. And I actually have uh, one of him out of the box right here because I do have a box for it. It's just, uh, it's got some damage to it. So I just figured, hey, why not just keep him out of the box? So. Technically, in the world, there are only 498 of these left for you to try to get your hands on because the two that I have are never, ever leaving my collection. I love this one so much. It's uh, it's just definitely one of my top grails. I chased down this pop for so long and I'm finally so happy to have it in the collection. But man, I think that about wraps it up. There was a lot of flash pops here and I hope that you enjoyed this kind of overlook or haul or collection tour or what you whatever you want to call it, I don't know. This is my flash collection. And uh, yeah, there's there's a ton of stuff here. So I'm, I'm very happy and, and, and thankful that I've had the opportunity to get a hold of and collect all of the flash pops. But let me know which flash related pop is your favorite in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a thumbs up. It helps out the channel a lot. And also subscribe if you're not already and hit the notification bell too, because then you'll no be notified when videos like this drop. So really appreciate the support everyone. Once again, this has been Box Attack. I'm Dom and we'll catch you later.